Hello and welcome back to Getting Started with Cube. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about what Cube is. Now, Cube is basically a very lightweight, minimalistic CSS framework. So it helps you to get some of the mundane tasks out of the way that you would usually do when creating your own site in HTML and CSS. And one of the most powerful features is the grid system contained within it. Now, any of these front-end frameworks have their own form of grid system and they're all pretty similar and uh, and this one's no different uh, but the grid system here really helps you to get your site laid out get your content laid out very easily using a few predefined css classes but cube also has some really nice simple minimalistic styles for things like typography and forms and tables and buttons and things like that now keep in mind that cube isn't designed to be as robust as something like Bootstrap or Foundation. It's not a full UI development kit. It doesn't have all of the comprehensive sets of styles that Bootstrap has. Instead, it's designed to be very minimalistic and lightweight, like we've said before, so that you can lay your own styles on top of it and create some truly unique designs. But again, the purpose of Cube is to be lightweight and to help you very quickly get some of the mundane tasks out of the way. So you can find the Cube website at imperavi.com forward slash cube with a K. And I'll go ahead and post that URL in the course notes. Once you come to the website, on the first page you'll have the download link here, the big red button. And then on this black nav bar in the middle of the screen here, we have a series of links that is basically the documentation for Cube. So it has some styles for typography. So we can click on the typography link and see what the default typography styles look like. And uh, the, like I said, it's all pretty simple. It's all very minimalistic, but it's nice and clean. It looks really good. So we have the grid system here, which is we're, we're going to spend a lot of time using, which helps us lay out our content very easily using a few predefined classes for us. And then we've got some styles for forms, tables, and then the helpers section. I would advise you to look through this helper section because it's got a lot in it. Uh, the first couple options you see here are variables and mix-ins. These variables and mix-ins are here in case you're using the less version of the cube framework. And if you're not familiar with less, less is basically a CSS-like language that compiles into CSS, and it allows you to use things like variables in your CSS. So it's a very efficient way to code your CSS. Now, we're not really going to get into less in this course, uh, there are other courses on Tuts Plus on how to use less, but again, we're not going to get into less in this course because I want this to be as accessible as possible for all designers and developers. So, so we're not going to get into the less stuff, but know that if you do use less, that those options are here in the helpers section. But we also have things here for, if we scroll down a little bit past the mix-ins, we have just small touches like the first letter option, which allows us to create a large first letter in your paragraph, a close option, which allows us with just a little bit of code to create this little X, this button you would use to close little pop-up modules, things like that. And then as you scroll down, you'll see numerous other helpers. Now we're not going to cover all of these different helper classes in this particular video series, but I would highly encourage you to look through this page because it has a lot in it that's easy to miss if you don't pay attention. So this has some really helpful classes here that help you to create some, some effects very, very easily. So those are the helpers. And then we have a couple more links at the top for buttons, navigation units, icons, and JavaScript. Now the icons here are kind of tricky. We're not going to use these icons in this particular course. It uses the glyph icons font, which you have to pay for in order to use it. You've got to purchase a license for it. So we're not really going to use that, but there are other icon fonts out there that are free uh, that you can very easily incorporate with something like Cube. And then finally, at the very end, we have some JavaScript options here, which just give us a few different options for working with buttons, button groups, toggles, tabs, and things like that. So that's the basics of the Cube framework. Again, it's a very simple, very minimalistic framework. And as we move forward, we will create our own design using this framework. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.